Imagine being the most powerful person in the world, unlimited freedom, but with constant threats, wars, diseases, betrayals. Sounds contradictory, doesn't it? But that was the daily reality of Marcus Aurelius, an emperor who, despite his power, faced challenges that would make anyone feel powerless. Today, I'm going to reveal how he found in Stoicism an astonishing antidote to dissatisfaction, a philosophy that transformed not only his life, but mine as well. Before I start, I want to thank each of you for your incredible support. Your actions not only help me, but also unite us in the journey to explore wisdom that can change our lives. Let's discover together how the strength of an emperor can inspire our lives today. Moving on in the narrative, it's intriguing to reflect on why some people choose not to respond in certain situations. It can feel like treading on delicate ground. However, someone's lack of response is not a sign to give up or surrender. But how then can you turn this apparent rejection into a positive turnaround? By the end of this video, you will have effective strategies to deal with indifference and discover how reverse psychology can be a powerful ally in making the person reconsider their attitude. Before we continue, I'd like to ask a favor. If you can, please leave a like and activate the notification bell. This simple gesture has a great impact as it helps the YouTube algorithm understand that you appreciate our content, thereby increasing the video's visibility to more people. I greatly appreciate your support. Firstly, it's essential to ignore those who try to diminish your worth. In the face of coldness and disinterest, it's crucial not to be shaken, but to rise above these circumstances. Ignoring someone who rejects you is not an act of hostility, but a powerful statement of self-esteem. Imagine someone considering your time worthless. You're not the one losing in that situation. By choosing not to engage, you are in fact reaffirming your own value. It's like holding up a mirror in front of yourself, reflecting and demonstrating that such behavior doesn't affect you. But how do we achieve this without becoming bitter? The answer is simple. Focus on your life, your goals, and your happiness. Dedicate yourself to enriching activities like reading, playing sports, learning new skills, or simply enjoying the company of those who value you. It's not about seeking retaliation, but rather redirecting your energy to what really matters. Yes, sometimes you will be ignored. However, instead of dwelling on this rejection, turn it into a drive for your personal development. Strengthen your self-esteem and let the indifference of others dissipate in this empowerment. You're not just resisting rejection, you're thriving in spite of it. This dedication to self-development is a sign of emotional maturity, showcasing your inner strength. Remember, your worth is not diminished by others' inability to recognize it. Stay true to yourself, letting your actions speak louder than the silence of others. Avoid impulsive reactions and opt for thoughtful responses. Maintaining your dignity and self-respect in challenging moments is a demonstration of strength and an affirmation that you are resilient in the face of indifference. Second key point, free your mind from them. The art of detachment proves to be a crucial tool in your strategy set. Erase them from your thoughts. This doesn't mean denying or pretending that rejection doesn't hurt, but rather redirecting that experience into something that promotes your growth. Begin this process by acknowledging the rejection and feeling its impact, but don't let it dominate your thoughts. Like a seasoned sailor in turbulent waters, use the waves to propel your journey instead of allowing them to sink your boat. To transform rejection, it's necessary to change how we perceive it. View rejection not as a blockade, but as a signpost directing you toward new paths and opportunities. 
Dedicate yourself to activities that nourish your essence and broaden your horizons. Dive into a challenging read. Practice a sport that tests your limits or engage in community projects that offer innovative perspectives. These experiences are not merely pastimes, but platforms for self-discovery and personal growth. Each new adventure contributes to your resilience and adaptability. Moreover, it is vital to cultivate a circle of positive influences. Surround yourself with people who encourage and inspire you. Share your aspirations and listen to theirs in an environment that fosters mutual growth. It's important to remember that rejection does not define your worth. It represents an invitation to rediscover and reinvent yourself along this journey. You will realize that what once seemed like painful rejection was, in fact, a push towards a more rewarding path. Avoid reacting in an emotionally impulsive way. Third essential point, avoid impulsive emotional reactions. When faced with rejection, it's natural to feel a wave of emotions, to want to respond and let your feelings overflow. However, there's a valuable technique derived from the guide to serenity. When you are dismissed, it might be tempting to give in to frustration or sadness. Yet, Stoicism, a philosophy as relevant today as in ancient Greece, offers us an alternative perspective. It encourages us to adopt a reflective and calm posture. This doesn't imply repressing emotions, but avoiding letting them control us. When ignored, instead of getting upset or seeking external validation, take a pause and reflect. Why does this affect me? Often it's not the rejection itself, but our own insecurities that hurt us. Practicality is key. If you are being ignored, take a deep breath and remind yourself, this moment does not define who you are. It's just a passing instance. Stoicism guides us to focus on our actions and reactions, not the behavior of others. Therefore, remain polite and kind. If you feel the need to interact, do so sincerely and without expectations. This stance is not passivity, but emotional control. Recognize that your self-esteem is not tied to others' approval. Your true power lies in how you respond, not in how you are treated. While adopting this mindset is not easy, it is certainly transformative. By maintaining serenity in the face of rejection, you are not just managing a difficult situation, but growing. You learn that your inner peace does not depend on external validations. This is a journey towards self-confidence, where self-worth is learned independently. By adopting this approach, you display authentic strength and resilience. And that, in itself, is tremendously attractive. People are naturally drawn to those who exhibit self-assuredness, who do not get destabilized by the first sign of indifference. By remaining calm, you not only face the situation, but also thrive in it. You transform into someone capable of handling rejection, using it as a catalyst for personal growth. This is stoic wisdom, a path of personal strengthening and emotional balance. Fourth and fundamental aspect, demonstrate your value. This is a true test of your resilience. View each rejection not as a setback, but as an opportunity to display your strength and capability. When you are overlooked in a meeting or for a promotion, take a deep breath. Instead of succumbing to self-pity or resentment, redirect that energy into positive and constructive actions. Work on a project that showcases your skills or take the lead in a new challenge. Remember, your value is not diminished by others' lack of recognition. On the contrary, it's an opportunity to shine even brighter. Unfazed by disregard, remind yourself of the proverb, when one door closes, another opens. This is not merely a consolation, but a blueprint for action. Rejection does not reflect your intrinsic value, but can be a redirection to where your skills are most needed. 
If you are being overlooked for a position, it might be a sign to seek something more in harmony with your talents and passions. Use this as a stimulus to reassess and realign your strengths, looking for ways to maximize them. It's time to forge your own narrative of success, where each adversity serves as the backdrop for a triumphant comeback. It's not about feigning happiness in the face of disappointment, but about embracing the full range of emotions and moving forward with grace and determination. Stoicism guides us to focus on what is within our control, our actions and reactions. In the face of rejection, practice empathy, both with yourself and with others. That colleague who appears indifferent might be facing their own battles, Expand your understanding, not as a sign of weakness, but as an indication of your strength. Grow from these experiences. Affirm your value. Reflect, learn, and like a phoenix, rise from the ashes of rejection stronger and wiser. Thus, rejection is not the end of your story, but a turning point that propels you to become the most authentic and resilient version of yourself. Face it with the wisdom of the ages and the energy of youth and watch yourself transform your greatest fear into your greatest ally for personal growth and success. Fifth vital point, reduce contact. When confronted with indifference or rejection, the impulse to try to fix the situation, to seek dialogue with the other party, trying to fill the void left behind, is common. However, this is the moment when you can change the dynamics and embrace silence. It's not about playing a game. It's about reaffirming your autonomy by choosing not to inundate the other person with incessant messages or calls. Taking a step back is crucial, and this pause benefits not just the other person, but you as well. It's an opportunity to recalibrate and remind yourself that your worth does not depend on others' approval. Delving deeper into this concept, here, the silence is not passive, but active and strategic. You're not merely waiting, you're reflecting and maturing. It's the time to redirect your focus towards your goals, passions, and personal life. Consider this a reset button that offers clarity and empowerment. This interlude of no contact is not an expression of coldness or cruelty. It's the establishment of a boundary for your own mental tranquility. You're sending a clear message. I respect myself too much to chase after or beg for attention. Adopting this stance is not just liberating, but also empowering. It speaks volumes about your self-esteem and confidence. Consider the powerful silent message you send in a world accustomed to immediate responses. Your silence can be enigmatic and even attractive, showing that you are not easily perturbed and have a life full of interests and priorities beyond this rejection. It's not about provoking regret or pulling someone back, but about demonstrating that you are firm, focused and independent of external validations. This strategy might not change others' behavior, but it will certainly transform yours, making you more resilient, focused, and prepared to face future challenges with grace and balance. Reducing contact is a form of self-care and self-affirmation that puts you on the path to move forward in your life with confidence and dignity. Sixth fundamental point, demonstration of capability. The true art of using rejection is not just about proving others wrong, but about showing yourself what you are truly capable of. It's about turning a received no into fuel for your own growth and overcoming. Suppose someone questions your competence in a specific area. Here lies your opportunity to refine that skill. The goal is not to seek external approval, but to surpass your own limits. Dedicate yourself to learning, practice diligently, and achieve a level of proficiency that previously seemed unattainable. This isn't an ostentatious display for the skeptics, but a silent and consistent development of your competence and self-confidence. 
Consider the impact of your actions above your words. There's no need to broadcast your plans or progress. Let the results speak for themselves. In doing so, you not only surpass others' expectations, but crucially, your own as well. With each step on this journey, you're proving to yourself your capability and worth, regardless of external opinions. The true power of resilience lies here. It's not based on winning others' approval, but in gaining your own self-approval. If they label you as lacking creativity, undertake a project that showcases your inventiveness. If you are considered evasive, let your consistent actions speak for you. This silent revolution of self-improvement is not a battle against others' perceptions, but a journey towards personal excellence. By changing the narrative others have about you, you also transform your own essence. The reality of proving them wrong lies not in changing their opinions, but in reshaping your self-image. Your journey of self-improvement will not only surprise others, but also redefine their perception of your abilities. It's not just about proving them wrong, but redefining what it means for you to be right. And on this journey, the greatest achievement is realizing that the only truly relevant validation is the one you give yourself. Seventh crucial point, explore and have fun. If it is outside our comfort zone that life truly brightens, then seeking joy is not just a form of entertainment, but a clever strategy to strengthen resilience in the face of rejection. The common tendency may be to close off and stew in bitterness, but I suggest a revolutionary approach. Counter that instinct by consciously seeking moments of happiness. It's not about ignoring your emotions but providing them with a new context to thrive. By exploring a new hobby or rekindling an old passion, this act becomes an affirmation of resistance against the weight of rejection. As inherently social beings, there is immense power in sharing experiences during times of adversity. Value your community. Invite friends for a walk, get involved in a collective artistic project, or simply enjoy a meal in good company. These moments of connection do more than just lift your spirits. They reaffirm your place in the web of human relationships. Each shared laugh, each exchange story, is a subtle reminder that you are more than the sum of your setbacks. You are part of a broader narrative that flourishes in connection and collective resilience. Herein lies the true magic, confronting the unknown. Rejection may seem like a closed door, but in reality, it opens many others. Try a cuisine new to you, explore a neighborhood you've never visited, or sign up for a workshop on an unfamiliar topic. These experiences go beyond mere distractions. They are opportunities for personal expansion. Each new experience adds layers to your character, making you more adaptable, empathetic, and prepared for life's unpredictabilities. Remember, the goal is not to erase rejection from memory, but to evolve from it, transforming each received no into a push for a richer, more vibrant life. Eighth essential point, develop your social status. Consider the situation where you find yourself in a room, being ignored or nearly invisible. Here lies a hidden opportunity. Stoic philosophy teaches us to transform these moments of rejection into catalysts for personal growth. Instead of seeking external validation, focus on self-improvement and community engagement. It's not about climbing the social ladder, but ascending your own ladder of personal development. Activities like exercising, exploring hobbies, or advancing in your career are not just routine tasks. They are tools for shaping a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. Think of sharing your journey not for recognition, but for the connection it can establish. When discussing your interests or achievements, transform it into an opportunity to meet like-minded individuals. This process is not a strategy to accumulate followers, 
but an authentic quest for meaningful connections. By engaging in volunteer activities or networking, you are not just enhancing your resume, but building a valuable network of relationships. This approach has deep roots in Stoicism, where personal growth and contributing to the greater good are intertwined. In developing your social status, intention is what matters most. It's not about chasing popularity, but becoming an improved version of yourself. Each step should be towards personal growth, creating a positive impact in the community. This change in perspective is vital. It's not about being noticed. It's about observing, evolving, and consequently helping others develop. Adopting this stoic mindset is an effective way to navigate the modern world, turning rejection into a powerful force for positive transformation. Embrace each opportunity to build and strengthen your social status in a way that reflects who you are and what you aspire to be, creating a meaningful impact on yourself and the community around you. Ninth key point, adopt reciprocal indifference. When someone ignores you, an effective and powerful response can be simply not to react. This attitude is not about malice or coldness, but preserving one's inner peace. If someone chooses to ignore you, let them. Avoid wasting energy trying to attract their attention or initiate dialogue. Instead, direct your focus elsewhere. In social contexts like parties, this may mean seeking out someone who appreciates your presence and starting a conversation with them. It's an acknowledgement that your worth does not depend on others' attention. In the inevitable situations where you must interact with this person, prioritize professionalism. Keep conversations brief, to the point, and devoid of deep personal content. The goal is not to outdo them, but to maintain a professional and detached stance. This approach leaves no room for unnecessary drama and sends the message, I am here for what truly matters, not for the games. This strategy helps to keep the focus on what is essential, remaining steady and unshaken in the face of indifference. If the disregard persists, recognize the power of withdrawing this is not defeat, but a strategic retreat. Understand that your energy is more valuable when invested in places, relationships, and activities that bring you happiness and growth. By choosing not to engage in an unequal confrontation, you are not just moving away from a specific person, but advancing towards more promising opportunities, healthier interactions, and a more peaceful state of mind. Your way of dealing with indifference does not reflect failure, but is a testament to your strength and self-respect. Remember, in some instances, silence and indifference can be the most powerful and dignified responses. This approach is a silent declaration of independence and self-sufficiency. By practicing reciprocal indifference, you are not simply avoiding a confrontation, but positioning yourself as someone who values their own peace above the need for recognition or approval. It's a stance that communicates self-confidence and a clear understanding of your priorities and boundaries. In short, acting as if they do not exist is not a strategy of isolation, but a pathway to self-affirmation and personal empowerment. Take charge of your life with the wisdom of history's greatest philosophers. Stoicism in the 21st century is your guide to resilience, well-being, and prosperity. Turn challenges into triumphs, stress into strength, uncertainty into clarity. Click now on the link in the pinned comment and begin your stoic journey to a life of success and fulfillment. Get your ebook today. Tenth crucial point, practice deliberate silence. Choosing silence over reacting with indifference is not a strategy to gain advantage, but a way to preserve dignity. Stoicism guides us to employ silence, not as a tool for provocation or manipulation, but as a means for self-reflection and emotional control. In situations where words can be misinterpreted or exacerbate conflict, 
Opting for silence is an effective way to maintain integrity and self-control. This way, you focus more on your personal growth rather than getting trapped in a cycle of negative reactions and emotions. When someone ignores you and you respond with silence, turn that silence into a period of introspection. It's a time to understand your feelings, analyze your thoughts and seek clarity. The goal is not to punish the other person, but to safeguard your inner peace. In this silence lies a valuable opportunity for personal growth. It's not about closing off to the world, but opening up to self-knowledge. Stoicism encourages using these moments to reflect on our virtues, values, and how we wish to interact with the world. It's a chance to question, why does this affect me? What can I learn from this? How can I evolve from here? This type of silence is constructive, not destructive. It's a time to strengthen character and align reactions with personal principles. Therefore, if you opt for silence, let it be a conscious decision grounded in self-care and wisdom. It is a choice to not engage in lower behaviors such as manipulation, revenge, or malice. Instead, it's an embrace of the stoic call for temperance and self-control. By choosing not to respond, you're not just avoiding the other person, but also deeply connecting with yourself. This practice is a way to maintain composure, focus on your personal journey, and embody the stoic ideal of serenity in the face of adversity. Let your silence speak louder than any words could and allow your inner peace to guide you at every step. This deliberate silence is an act of self-affirmation and a powerful reminder that you are the greatest healer and guide of your own life. It's an affirmation that, even in the face of indifference, you can find internal strength and wisdom to rise above the circumstances, staying true to your values and principles. It's a practice that transcends the immediate situation, providing a solid foundation for personal growth and fulfillment. Eleventh point, avoid begging for attention. In the face of indifference, Stoic philosophy guides us not towards seeking recognition, but towards a deep dive into our own value and independence. When someone ignores you, it is not a sign that you should intensify your efforts to capture their attention. On the contrary, it's a fitting moment for introspection and to reaffirm your own worth. Stoicism teaches us that self-esteem should not fluctuate with the attention, or lack thereof, of others. It's about standing firm in self-knowledge and recognizing that your value is absolute and non-negotiable. Dedicate yourself to your passions and projects with a spirit of self-sufficiency. This is not about showing off to make someone realize what they're missing, but about recognizing the value of what you offer. Engage in activities that bring you satisfaction. Establish connections with people who value you and cultivate a life you can be proud of. This attitude is not passivity. It's a vibrant and active acceptance of your own existence. It's about investing so much in your own growth and happiness that the pursuit of external validation becomes secondary. Therefore, instead of chasing fleeting attention, focus on your personal development. Build a life that satisfies you, regardless of others' perceptions. Let your self-confidence and assurance be your guides, not the craving for attention. Turn indifference into an opportunity to strengthen your resolve and intensify your understanding of your own worth. You are the creator of your life, and each choice you make should reflect your intrinsic value, not the pursuit of external approval. By adopting this stance, you are practicing a form of self-empowerment. By refusing to beg for attention, you are choosing to value yourself more than any recognition that might come from outside. This choice has the power to transform the way you see yourself and, in turn, how others perceive you. 
The authenticity and self-esteem that emanate from this attitude have a much deeper impact than any attempt to draw attention. Your journey towards self-improvement and personal satisfaction creates an aura of confidence and natural attraction. This is the essence of what Stoicism seeks to teach. The importance of relying on one's inner strength and worth, regardless of external circumstances. Therefore, when facing indifference, remember that your reaction to it can be a powerful affirmation of your own worth and autonomy. Twelfth point, kindness with emotional distance. Faced with indifference, the most balanced response is kindness, but with caution about your emotional world. This does not imply adopting a cold stance, but rather protecting your inner serenity. It's understandable to feel hurt or frustrated when ignored, but Stoicism encourages us to face such situations not with emotional turmoil, but with calm and tranquility in the heart. Offer a smile, a polite greeting, or a simple good day wish without expecting anything in return. Your kindness should be genuine, not an expectation of reciprocity. Maintaining emotional distance does not mean erecting walls around yourself, but establishing clear boundaries. This involves understanding that while you can control your own actions, you cannot control others' reactions. This emotional distance is not a sign of weakness, but a demonstration of strength and self-respect. It is a conscious decision not to let the actions of others affect your emotional state. By being friendly, yet reserved, you signal that you will not allow others' indifference to disturb your peace of mind. This approach not only protects your emotional well-being, but also empowers you. The combination of kindness with emotional detachment is a powerful expression of stoic wisdom. This balance allows for gracious interactions while maintaining emotional integrity. It's a sign of self-respect and respect for others, reflecting maturity and understanding. You face life's rejections not with bitterness or sadness, but with an unwavering feeling of serenity and inner dignity. Practicing this balance leads to a valuable discovery. Even amidst indifference, it's possible to maintain a serene spirit and a respectful heart towards yourself and others. By cultivating this attitude, you'll find that life becomes not just more bearable, but also more enriching, marked by deep serenity and unwavering respect for your own path and value. Thirteenth point, keep your struggles private. In the face of indifference, it may be tempting to share your difficulties, but Stoicism teaches us to value composure. This doesn't mean pretending everything is fine, but rather developing internal resilience. Not showing affectation isn't a falsehood, but rather an indication of genuine inner stability. Continue with your life with the same enthusiasm and determination as always, not as a performance for others but as a demonstration of your own strength. This focus is not about denying feelings. Acknowledge your emotions, but don't let them dominate. Let calm and self-confidence be your guides. Control what's within your reach, your actions, reactions, and behavior. By continuing to live with confidence, you not only show others your strength, but also reaffirm it for yourself. It's a subtle yet powerful way to declare that your sense of self-worth does not depend on others' perceptions or actions. Essentially, by keeping your struggles to yourself, you are practicing the stoic philosophy of emotional resilience. It's not about hiding your emotions, but managing them in a way that preserves your dignity and self-respect. It's a display of wisdom and integrity, showing that you are grounded in your own character and not swayed by external circumstances. Your way of dealing with rejection is not just for the outside world to see. It's a reflection of your inner strength and stability. Through these powerful lessons, we learn how to turn rejection into a tool for success. Remember, each no you face is a step towards resilience.
a lesson in stoicism teaching us to channel our inner strength, I challenge you to apply the principles of stoicism and resilience in your daily life. Viewing rejection not as a hurdle, but as a stimulus for personal growth and self-exploration is a transformative shift in perspective. I'm excited to follow your stories of overcoming and triumph. Remember to subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment below. Share your journey, celebrate your achievements, and even discuss your struggles as an affirmation that you've absorbed the teachings from our session. Each interaction enriches our community, driving us towards wisdom, understanding, and above all, the art of turning each obstacle into an opportunity. Together, we're here to master the art of stoic resilience. Stay strong and resilient. Until our next meeting, stay blessed, everyone.